16 handicap looking to get more distance with the driver and control a hook with the irons. We've got a few swings to go over here. So first with the driver swing, setup doesn't look bad, pretty decent stance and posture, but it does look like you have that face a little shut, reducing loft from your setup position. And taking it away, you're gonna keep the arms away from the body nicely, face a little closed and a uh, general upright backswing. Elbow flies away a bit and you've really lost your grip at the top of the backswing. Although you're getting a ton of body turn, straightening out your trail knee to maximize the hip turn and shoulder turn, and the trail elbow doesn't go too far above parallel. So uh, I think just the wrist would be something to work on here from this position. Body begins to transition a little early to get onto your toes, which will get you to turn open as you jump out of this. Uh, so it looks like you're getting as much as you can out of your body as far as turn is concerned. Uh, and if you're lacking distance, it's probably more ball flight, like launch and spin rates, trying to hit a tight draw to reduce spin and stay tilted back behind it to maximize your launch angle. But not too bad there. I mean, maximizing distance might have to come from something that we're going to talk about in the next video here which is the face on view. And looking at the grip, it is again uber strong, which will have the closed club face tendencies. Uh, but the way that you do make a turn off of this starts with a slight little forward press, going to mark your lead hip, uh, transferring your weight to your trail side, but does not look like you get much to the outstep, a more powerful position, as we said, with that posted up back leg. Uh, the strong grip will have that face continuously stay closed to the top, not over hinging on this iron as you did with the driver so you should have better issues or better uh, club face control uh, but here in the downswing it looks like you start to dissipate your lag angle sooner than expected which will further close the face and cause the ball to go left uh, examining your divot a little bit more very much so a sweep as you're even hitting a little bit behind that as you're tilted back behind it the way you should with an upward uh, driver swing uh, but you do want to get a little bit more lateral with your body first and keep your left shoulder down a little bit more to keep the arms and hands in front so that you can hold on to your leg. And that may seem a bit complicated, so I'll back it up a bit. When you're at the top position here, uh, your left shoulder tilt could be a bit more as you're looking over your shoulder. But as you transition, great bump to the left side here. Then you start getting on your toes and then this left shoulder starts to clear and rise up. And that upward motion will have a bit more of a flipping uh, opposite reaction down by your hands. So the more you pick up with your body, the more you'll tend to flip it. So try to, from this face on view, get to a fairly similar position at the top. Work on your grip. You got your right knee driving toward target, but keep your left shoulder driving down. And your body moving forward to attack the ball and make the divot down and in front rather than up and behind. Good luck, sendayswing.com.